What is good, y'all? It's your boy Ty back here with another episode of our No Money Spent Squad series. Starting today with a gold consumables pack. Obviously, it's nothing going to be crazy, but maybe I'll log in every single day this week. That's the goal to get our ultimate spin the wheel uh, weekly reward. Because I haven't gotten that, I don't think, in at least a couple of weeks. I used to get that every single day when I was on Xbox because that really was my primary account. And not to say my no money spent account right now isn't my primary account because I do play on this account more than anything else. But it's not like I just sit on the game all day like I was pre-250. If you are new to my channel, please smash that subscribe button as we are on the road to 60,000 subscribers. So my current squad is looking like this right now. We got Kyle Anderson at the small forward, Doom, Dumboya at the power forward. And then everywhere else, it looks pretty good. Like you look at my squad, there's no real flaws anywhere else outside of kind of those two spots and i wouldn't even say those two spots are necessarily flaws they're just spots i think could be upgraded pretty easily so that's the only thing about it i mean obviously there's there's a lot of different places i could go as far as upgrades uh but honestly i think the biggest is easiest first upgrade i can make and, and the upgrade i want to make is with pink diamond draymond now i'm scared he's above the price i could have got him for yesterday 43 okay let's see can i steal a bid quick hold up I gotta see what Draymond's going for quick, and then I might I might try stealing a bid quick. 46. All right, let me try let me try getting one for under 50k quick uh, here for Draymond Green. Let's see what is he? I, I just gotta see what he goes for. Okay, so I'm gonna bid 50k on one of these Draymonds just to steal. Yo 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 yo. I don't know why my my thing's messing up, but let's see. Can I steal one for 50k quick? We're gonna we're gonna bid on this one. We'll see. Can I can I get a quick snipe here for less than I would have to pay normally? Let's see. Not on that one. I don't have enough MT to try the second one. That's tough. That is super, super tough. Now, I don't know what Draymond goes for. I just tried to steal one quick. Let's see. Is there any other upcoming ones? Not really. But, I mean, either way, I mean, I, I might have been able to save three or four K. I'm going to have 10,000 MT left over. So, pretty good. Oh, here we go. 49K. Bow. Let's go. That's cheaper than I would have got him for the bid. So, that's a big time W there for Draymond. As you guys can see, the auction house player gold did get achieved. So, if that's something you're looking at, I'm going to plug Draymond into the starting lineup. But if that's kind of, if you're grinding XP and looking to get your daily challenges done, you need an auction house player. So, the average play, the cheapest play in the auction house is going to be up, up compared to what it is normally. And honestly, for daily XP, you got 500 here. Usually it's at 400, but because of the domination one, you got 500 free XP there, which is just a bit pretty big W. Obviously, win the weekend. Uh, you got, I, I could still do a lot of these challenges. I'm not personally grinding my team limited, but even if you play just five limited games, that's a free thousand XP right there. So, I mean, it's, it's easy to get XP this season. I kind of low key wish I would have started grinding earlier because it's just too late, but next season, that is something we're definitely going to do. So, obviously, with this, I obviously just claim my token. And and now 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 is the real test, right? Now that we got Draymond, we got Sydney Wicks in here. Kyle Anderson's probably the next one, the next guy to go. So I got I gotta kind of figure out my squad and figure out who is who is next to replace that Kyle Anderson card. What what is my next goal uh, to pick up here? Because that's probably where I'm looking at, is at upgrading Kyle Anderson. It's just I don't know necessarily who to who to replace Kyle Anderson with. So my big thing, honestly, for my no money spend account is I want to have fun while I play too. So part of what I'm what I'm going for ultimately um, is I, I could go for Diamond Tyler Hero because I mean that's a, a decent one. But I want D Low. That's what I want more than anything. Plus they're gonna probably have Group Four challenges coming out soon. So this is probably what I'm gonna grind out on stream later today or these offline and in some of these online games to get through Patrick Beverly and then start working towards D Low. But we're 20 and 0 right now. Two wins away from the Amethyst tier award. So if we could just get through the Amethyst tier today, that would be a massive W. Looking at my opponent here, oh, how nice it would be to have Dark Matter, MJ, Zion, as well as Hard Galaxy of Heart and KD and Jokic. It's going to be interesting. I have my mic on, but the more squads I play, the, it's just interesting just to kind of see matchup wise. Like how Draymond can compete against Zion as he gets a block on the first possession of the game. Let's chill. Come here. Oh, yeah, Dre to the cup. That's fine. Patience, patience, patience. We're fine. Patience. I'm telling you, Russell Westbrook's release on quick is absolutely butter. Now, I'm not going to sit here and hype him up like he's better than Lonzo Ball. But what I will say is Russ is definitely usable with this upgraded release. We're good. Hedge hard. We're good. Drop Dre. Oh, yeah. That's me. That's great defense. That's better offense. Sometimes, you know, good defense gets beat by better offense. 
But like I'm saying with Russ, he's a lot more fun to use with this release. Oh yeah, to the cup, Russ. Showtime. And I mean, this is the type of game I can already tell. I sh it shouldn't be that close. I should be able to get a quit. Which isn't, it's not been the kind of trend lately. I've been struggling to get quits pretty early on. Did he leg out of the game? Please tell me. Please tell me I could get a quick quit here because that would that would mean a lot for kind of my, my grind for today. Russ for three. Can't get that one to drop board. Look at Cat. That's the wrong icon. I tried hitting Clay. That's me. Oh, yeah, Malik. Up to Draymond. Showtime, me, Dre. Again, I need a badge out on my players. Maybe that should be my next goal is just applying some badges because right now I feel like that's where I'm behind more than anything else is Clay gets that one to drop. Oh, yeah, we're on the verge of really flooding. I dare you. Can he stop trying my Draymond Green like he's not get back, man? Come on. That's a dot. Chill. I should have shot it. Come on, Clay. Come on, Clay. Give me one. Yes, sir. Good shot. Oh, what are we up? Are we up 10 already? This is really about to be a flood. Good, Dre. Good, Dre. That's fine. Goodness, that should, I was gonna say that should be me. Clay, man, I gotta start greening with you. That's my fault. Oh my goodness. Nah, my guys are playing right now. Like, they are balling right now. Draymond to Clay. Everybody is splashing from three. Cat playing great defense. What has he got? Two boards? Feels like he should, he should, he should be doing more. Oh, yeah. Dre to the cup? No way I shot that. That's my fault. Bro, Draymond is so tough. Like, I don't care who you are. Like, look at what he's doing for me so far in the game. Like, we're early on in the game, and what has he got for me? Like, he's just been going crazy. He's having a quietly crazy game. Cat for three. I got to hold that thing down a little bit. But like I'm saying, like, he's got three blocks, two rebounds, five points. Like, what more do you want from Dre? The more I play with this starting lineup, the more I think I'm really going to be able to compete with the best squads possible. I don't know what it was, but the addition of Draymond Green has really just, I felt like defensively, shirred some things up. Just look at Cat, man. I just, I don't know, man. My guys are balling right now. Clay, that's just easy greens. And yeah, this game is over early on. It's a good move. Oh, yeah, that's boxed. It's all boxed. Up to Malik. Stop on the break. Chill. Come here. It's a dot to Dre. I laid it. That's my fault. It gets it to go anyway. We're up 21 points, and it is still the very first quarter of the game. That's fine. That's a tough shot. Oh, yeah, big cat. That's my board. It's about time. In the second quarter, we literally got up 30 points. I don't know what it was, but my starters were moving and grooving, and we did get a big quit. So it looks like we are going to have time for our second game today, which was just huge, because lately, I just haven't been getting that many quits. So I got one there, which was just a massive, massive W. Let's see. Who needs a contract? Big Cat, you need one. You got it any day of the week. Hopping in to game number two. Looking at my opponent here, he's got Don Old, Kawhi, Kermit, Draymond, and Cat. So talk about a good defensive team with Kawhi, Kermit, and Dre. Should be a very intriguing matchup. He moved Giannis into that starting lineup, and I see Lonzo Ball as well. So this guy's, I mean, he's bringing them guys out for them that starting lineup. It's going to be very, very interesting just to kind of see this matchup. That's good D. That's fine. I'll live with it. And that's the one dude I feel like if I could get my team, wouldn't necessarily be the best but it would be complete. If I could get Kermit Washington, which I might grind for on stream later today on Twitch, I would be basically set. That's kind of my my logic because if he could replace Kyle Anderson on my bench or I move Malik to my bench and start Kermit. Oh yeah, we're gonna beat him up in my press. Oh, that's my bump. That's fine, that's my bump too. Yup, I told y'all we're gonna beat him up in my press. 
He's probably not used to getting pressure like I'm. But oh my goodness, that's just an awful animation. I can't really be mad about it. Like I, I truly can't be mad about that animation, but that's bad. And a Dre back to Cat. Come on, that's just disrespect on the best shooting big in the NBA in Carl Anthony Towns. Yes, sir. Good start. Come on, Cat. Oh yeah, that's me. That's me. Where we at? Chill, chill, Russ. Come here. Chicken man, Dre. Yes, sir. That's another three ball. We're getting off to great starts here today. Come on. Come on. Nothing easy. We're there. We're there. Cat's there. Oh, my goodness. That's a great defensive possession. Should have been my steal, truly. Run, Cat. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's a dot. He didn't jump. That's good defense. That's just Kawhi, man. Oh my goodness, man. And he paused me. Like, it's 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 so funny to me how dudes are awful at the game. And then they know who they're playing. And then they start they start giving me this weird energy, right? Like he knows he's not gonna win. He knows. And so then he's just giving off this weird energy because he legitimately knows he's not going to beat me. So it's just kind of funny to me. And I'll call it how I see it. Like dudes are awful at the game. And then and then they, the only thing that they can do is pause me. You know, it's, it's it. Because they know what it is. They know they're not ever going to be, beat me or anything. And so then they just start pausing me for literally no reason. Other than the fact that, that they know that's the only reason uh, that, they've, that they're like, that it's worth playing. Like, look at what you're doing. You're literally in a box right now. Nice pass, little bro. I tried pausing you. I really did. Imagine jumping. And one. Come on, ref. Make a call. Oh, my goodness. I need a bucket here just so I can pause him. Like... I just I need I need I need to get my paws back. Yeah, come on. Come on, guard up. Stop with this double team nonsense. Guard up. Yep, guard up. Oh my goodness. I'm getting hold right now. It's fine. It's fine. Shoot a mid-range jumper off of a pass fake. I will live with that every shot. Oh, yeah, Russ. Uh-oh. I'm telling you, the floodgates are truly, really about to open because I'm just, I'm not here to, to watch you pause me. I'm not. That's not something I'm finna just sit here and do. Watch you sit here and pause me constantly. Yeah. Where's that same energy you had? Uh-huh. I need it because you literally are bad at the game. So, I mean, I'll tell you how I see it. You want to pause me literally for no reason because you know that's the only thing you're going to be able to do because you literally are not good at the game. Like, nice pass. Nice passing. Nice passing. Like, if dudes would just chill, I might be kicked back, like, and just relaxing. But dudes just want to be weird for no reason. Literally no reason. Watch this dot. Uh oh, where you helping from? That corner with Draymond, and I got a full... Sorry, back to Cat. It's all right. I'll take a, I'll take a two. Good shot, Malik. Uh-oh. I know, I know you're on the verge of quitting, which I will be too. Look at Russ on D. He be beating people up. Come on, man. Acting like my cat's not just sitting there in the lane. Hey, look at big cat. He, My cat's different than everybody else's cat. I could have told you that before I picked him up, but nobody else's cat's moving like mine. That should be my bump, 2K. Russ oh my goodness you really you're really making the the weirdest rotations right now leaving Malik Seeley and that's gonna be green nearly every single time don't throw that uh oh uh oh we're way out of position and you hit the wrong icon you must really be rattled right now hitting the wrong icon in a situation like that oh my goodness Clay my fault should have made the one more I thought he was gonna sit though that's great D 
That's great D. Great defense. Some people might wonder, Ty, do you feel bad for your opponent? Well, I would if you wouldn't have paused me. Like, what is what is the point of pausing somebody? Like, you're getting beat by a 20. You knew what it was from the beginning of the game, and you're pausing me? Like, it's just sad. Like, I honestly would be chilling right now. The game would probably be a 10-point game if you wouldn't have paused me. But now that you paused me, you know I'm relentless. Come on, man. Stupid. Look at Cat's stat line for a second. Like, look in the upper right-hand corner. Come on. You can't tell me Cat's just not the best, man. Oh, yeah. Over to Dre. That's deep, but it is green for Draymond Green. Cat is on triple-double watch. And do not let my cat get a triple-double on you. Do not. Because I will never let you live it down. Like, what are we doing here? What are, what are, what are we... Honestly, what are we doing here? You left Clay. <laughs> just, and my starting unit is just incredible. That's all I can really say at this point. Like, they can really compete against the best. And honestly, you guys might be like, well, Russ isn't really like that. What does Russ really have to do? Because everybody on my court can really make plays for themselves. Like, there's no way this dude should still be playing. Like, if you're going to pause me, you better not be down by 30 and not quit the game. Like, this is just a bad look. Like, it, it just really, truly is. This is awful. Like, I'm just confused at this point. The score was 94 to 30 before I got to quit. Hey, at the end of the day, it is what it is, man. I mean, that's what happens when you pause me and I lock in and really try my hardest against you because that's exactly what happened. I tried my hardest. I was greening shots and I really just flooded that dude because I had to let him know. You don't pause dudes like that. Like I, I told you that it was like 8-8 eight, eight when he paused me and I said it was over because I literally knew it. Hey, you just don't pause someone like that. I got an amethyst here. Please, can I get like an amethyst Mike D'Antoni? That would be a fire pull. If I put like D'Antoni, I would lose my mind. Luka Doncic. I mean, I guess. I guess I'll take a Luka Doncic. I kind of wanted a coach, but I ain't I'll take Smush Parker. At the end of the day, they're, they're, those are cards that are still going to have, hold some sort of value. And again, I'm at 14,000 MT. But if I do go through and sell some things, I should have enough maybe to, to upgrade this small forward position. But honestly, who do you guys think is my next upgrade? Obviously, once I end up getting Cedric, that's going to help my squad out a lot. But until then... Who can hold it down? Do you guys think my squad is as good as it, as it needs to be right now? And do I just continue to grind uh, for, obviously, Cedric and play a little triple threat to try to get D'Angelo Russell? And I don't know if D'Lo would fit in anywhere. I might play him, but just a little bit at back of point guard just to run D'Lo because I love him. Um, but this is my current squad. What do you guys think are the next kind of steps for me to take for this squad? Because I obviously... I'm having a lot of fun. Today was a big time success and I, I, I played very, very well. So I really can't complain too much. But guys, drop a like on the video. Comment your kind of suggestions down below in the comments. As always, man, I love you guys and have a blessed day.